Greetings fellow humans and welcome to No Tea, JD. Um, I did want to do a tag, I was tagged a while back by William the, the, the Ball Book Geek, great guy, we'll leave the link down below. And it is the Pass It On tag where uh, three books you'd want everyone to read and the reason why. I gave this some thought, I gave them some thought, I gave this some more thought and here's my three plus one answer. And I'll give the reason why. Uh, they're all my favorites uh, amongst my favorite books. And there's a reason. Uh, I've mentioned before several times that I think that a lot more people should read The Little Prince. Uh, in these times, I think some key people need a little dose of kindness in their lives. Uh, to really, really, really <laughs> drop the BS. Um, there's there's a lot of people in power that really should read that book and, and hopefully something rubs off because, I don't know, there's a lot of anger and intolerance and I think that's a good book to shift your life perspective a bit and be a little more kinder. Uh, second choice would have to be the Sandman series and there's a couple of reasons I've mentioned the Sandman and I I was actually lucky enough to, to convince someone to read the Sandman maybe more than one person but I would like more people to read the Sandman why uh, because out of all comics or graphic novels a Sandman is the one where I think that they take the genre of comics uh, along with Watchmen and Be Forbidden Vendetta, but in, for my particular taste, uh, Sandman is my high watermark. They take it to a literary place where it ranks alongside with great books. And it, it shows you that it, it's not to be taken lightly, that comics and that visual storytelling form is not to be taken lightly. Uh, I think Neil Gaiman is brilliant, and I do think that that Dream and the Endless and the entire series has a lot to offer to anyone who is a really big fan of fantasy. And and for me particularly, uh, it helped it helped break down a lot of barriers in terms of what I thought that I could do with my writing. I read it, and it had so many aha moments. Like it's a challenging series. It's not. It's not. It's not paint by numbers uh, literature by any means and that's why it's so special and why it's so important to me uh, lastly I know a lot of people are going to mention it but I'm going to mention my reason uh, I would share the Harry Potter series with everyone and for a couple of reasons um, Harry Potter arrived in my life in a, in a time when I needed a little bit of magic. I've mentioned it before, but um, I got into Harry Potter a bit late in the game. And uh, Dad had passed away after a long battle with cancer. And honestly, that series um, gave some magic to my life. And it is the first book that I read that I went wow, I want to do this. I want to do this for a living. I want to give it a go. I want to show that I can be a writer. And it, that's quite the inspiration. And I want other people to have that. I want people to read it and have that sense of wonder of reading something that is so easy to smile about and to relate to. And I think it's, it's essential reading for teens. And unfortunately, uh, some people from certain uh, religious circles think that it's a bad idea to read Harry Potter because there's witches and there's magic and that goes against the teachings of whatnot. And although I can get that, I really wouldn't want life lessons of a, about being a teen to go, you know, unread because of that. And, you know, there's no satanic messages. There's nothing of the sorts. 
and I think quite the contrary. It has some very important <coughs> messages to share in these times of of war, because these are times it's going to get crazy soon, or that's the way it feels like. Uh, but all in all, it was a series that every time I read it, I smile so much, and I think we need to smile more, so definitely recommend it because of that. And my plus one is any of my books. I would love anyone to read any of my books just to tell me um, if it's worthwhile or not, and if it is worthwhile to, to hear that. Uh, I've heard some people say some wonderful things, either in reviews or direct messages. And honestly, uh, sometimes you need a little fuel for the fire. And, you know, uh, being an indie writer, you're the one who's in charge of, of doing all the marketing and getting to people. So to be able to give one book, and show, show, show all my books and say, pick one, uh, and have people read it would be, would be a wonderful thing. And I know it's a bit selfish, but, you know, this is the dream. So why not include it in my, my books to, to want to pass along? So, yeah, those are in the books I would want everyone to read. Uh, as for people whom I tag, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be selective because people always say that I tag too many people. So, uh, Renee Little, I'm tagging you. Uh, uh, Peter Clark, the writer, I'm tagging you. Mm. Brit from Brittany Reads and Brit from Girl on Kindle Fire, I, I, I'm tagging you too, and I'm already pushing it. Anais Chachenko, I'm tagging you. Uh, Sunshine Somerville, I'm tagging you. A.L. Mabry, I'm tagging you, and one more. Uh, J.D. Archer, it's been a while since I tagged you, uh, and I, I think it's it's okay to tag you again. <laughs> so I'm tagging you as well. And to anyone else who wants to do this tag, by all means, uh, I will include uh, Will's link down below if you want to see the original, the original video. And by all means, share uh, the reading and share the love. So until next time, peace, love, and Mackie Rhodes.